Ahead of the United Nations Human Rights Council meeting in Geneva, the plight of the Tamils in Sri Lanka found resonance in the Indian Parliament. V. Maitreyan of AIA DMK in Rajya Sabha tabled a resolution calling attention motion on the subject. External Affairs Minister assured the House that India is in touch with Sri Lanka on the issue of rehabilitation, resettlement and political reconciliation of the war displaced Tamils there. If we are able to implement the 13 amendments, if there is movement forward and significant movement forward on LLRC, we can then look beyond LLRC, we can then, then look beyond 13 amendment and to see which way the debate can go forward. It is, not, it is not that we are making these assessments sitting in our high commissions. This is an assessment that is being made by interaction not only with the government of Sri Lanka, but all the other political parties, including the Tamil parties. We have taken assessment of how much of, how much of what is being conveyed to us is accurate. However, the members of AIA, DMK and DMK were not satisfied with the reply and staged a walkout. Earlier, cutting across party lines, the Rajya Sabha members supported the cause for early political reconciliation of the ethnic Tamils and said that it should be treated as a national issue. They stressed on the early implementation of the Indo-Lanka Accord in totality. The UPA government refuses to accept the root cause of the ethnic conflict and its blindfolded and misplaced trust on the Sri Lankan president. I am asking my country, I am asking my government, what India should do, and we have the meeting in the forthcoming UNHRC meeting in Geneva, what India is going to do. The issue of the controversial death of LTT leader Prabhakaran's son Bala Chandran also rocked the house. Prabhakaran se Sri Lanka ka jo jhagda hai, o uska antargat mamla hai. Lekin Prabhakaran ke bara saal ke bete ko Sri Lanka ki sena ne jis berami se mulk ke ghat utara hai, jis kurta se usko mara hai, Meanwhile, a recent Human Rights Watch report says that Sri Lankan forces have committed crime of sexual violence against ethnic Tamils in custody. The Sri Lankan government has dismissed the report as rubbish and lies. Almost four years after the war ended, Sri Lankan government have closed the IDP camps. Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajpaksa earlier committed to hold elections later this year in the war-ravaged northern province. However, giving political voice to the war-displaced Tamils still remains at best assurances. Bureau Report, DD News